So now recall that any differential equation in this form, um, the solution, if it, it, if it satisfies two conditions, and that's if it has constant coefficients, and if it's equal to zero on the other side, which this equation does, then the solution is always in this form. It's in the form um, y of x is equal to e to the exponent alpha x. And like I said, alpha must be determined. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug this equation to my parent equation. And I'm going to get d, d squared e to the exponent alpha x divided by dx squared minus 3d e to the exponent alpha x divided by dx squared plus 2 e to the exponent alpha x is equal to 0. So if I differentiate this, the first term twice, well, I'm going to be left with, so remember, the differential of an exponent is always um, this. You, you end up with the same term, but then you take, so you use the chain rule, and then you end up taking the exponent of, you end up taking the derivative of the exponent. Um, the derivative of the exponent is just alpha, because alpha is a constant. x disappears, and I'm left with alpha. So I'm going to be, so when I do the first differential, um, I'm going to be left with this. Sorry, if I do the first differentiation, I'm going to be left with this. For this guy, all I'm left with is 3 alpha e to the exponent alpha x plus 2 e to the exponent alpha x is equal to 0. So now I'm left with alpha squared e to the exponent alpha x minus 3 alpha e alpha x, or oopsies, e to the exponent alpha x plus 2 e to the exponent alpha x again is equal to 0. So here, e to the exponent alpha x is a common factor, so I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to be left with alpha squared minus 3 alpha plus 2 is equal to 0. So this ends up going to the other side, and it becomes 0. So I'm left with alpha squared minus 3 alpha plus 2. If I factor this, I'm left with alpha minus 2 and alpha minus 1. So if you don't know how to factor, leave a comment, and I'll do a video explaining how to factor um, polynomials. Uh, I expect that most of you know how to do this. But if some of you don't, then you can leave a comment section, and I'll do a video explaining how to factor polynomials. So basically, here, alpha is equal to 2, and here, alpha is equal to 1. So if alpha has two values, what does that mean? It means that y of x also has two values. It also has two solutions, not just one, but two. One solution is e to the exponent 2x, and the other exponent is e to the exponent just x. So you have two exponents in this form. Okay, so this is the answer. Why the solution for this differential equation is this. So this differential equation has two solutions. So basically, if I had three values of alpha, it would have three um, solutions. If I had four values of alpha, then there would be four solutions for y. Here I have two values of alpha, alpha. so there's two solutions to y. Um, and I'm going to leave this video off. I'm going to leave. I'm going to end this video by giving you a problem that you can solve yourselves. Um, and here's the problem. It turns out that if y um, has two solutions, right, e to the exponent alpha x and e to the exponent, sorry, e to the exponent x and e to the exponent 2x, then it turns out that any linear combination of these two will also give you a solution. So what I mean by that is y of x, if I took any linear combination of the first solution uh, multiplied by any constant, doesn't matter, plus I take the second solution and then I add a constant to it, then whatever answer I get will also be a solution. So that means that c1 multiplied by e to the exponent x plus c2 multiplied by e to the exponent 2x is also a solution to this. 
So it, it might seem really weird that, oh, how is it that, you know, I'm, I'm adding both of the solutions and somehow I'm also getting a solution. Well, it, it's true. It, it, it happens. Um, and if you look at the graph, you can mathematically and graphically verify this as well. But I challenge you to, to assume that this is the solution for this equation. So put this back into this equation and see if you end up getting um, if you end up solving the equation so it the answer is it will solve the equation as well if you put y is equal to x, e to the exponent x or y is equal to e to the exponent 2x or if you put y is equal to c1 e to the exponent x plus c2 e to the exponent 2x if you put any three of these solutions back into the parent equation you will verify that these are indeed solutions for this differential equation. So this is kind of your homework. Um, try to see and try to verify whether this linear combination is actually a solution or not. Um, and this is going to give rise to a very peculiar property of waves and, of, and then consequently of um, quantum mechanics as well. So this little formula is actually quite peculiar and also quite interesting. So verify this for yourself. Try to follow the math along until here. Do all of these derivations yourself because the math only gets more intense, I would say. So try to do this. It's not too hard so far. Um, but see if you can verify this equation with, 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 um, with this linear combination. So with that, I end this video. Good luck.